Hello, Year 2. It's great to see you all. You're all working so hard. Some of you are at home, a few of you are at school. Wherever you are, you're doing your best and we're really proud of you. I'm going to take us through our RE today. You've been busy learning about the new year and why it might be important to people. I'm going to do a quiz today and to see if you can remember some of the things that we've been learning. Perhaps you've got something or someone special that you can use to help you remember all of the things and answer the quiz questions. So I've got my puppet here. and He's going to help me remember what we've been doing. Perhaps you've got a special teddy that you'd like to use. Pause the video here if you have. Go and find it. Well done. So I'm going to share my, my screen with you. And I'm going to show you the things that we're going to be thinking about. So the first thing is, is it important to celebrate the new year? That's what we've been thinking about. Is it important to celebrate the new year? Well, I know that you planned a party a few weeks ago. What foods did you choose to eat? Special foods. Yeah, special foods. Party foods. Crisps. Hmm. Chocolate. What did you have for your party plan? Who would you invite? Who did you invite to your party or who would you invite? Friends and family, a good choice. People that are special to you and that you like. What games would you play? You like to play Pass the Parcel. They sound like fun games. What games would you play at your party? That sounds like a super party. I'd love to come. So let's think back then. There's a group of people called Jewish people. And long ago, they fled to safety across the sea, across the Red Sea. Who was it that took those Jewish people across the Red Sea to safety? Somebody beginning with a, mm, a man. Mm. That's right, Moses. Good, well done, super. Moses took the Jewish people across the Red Sea to safety and the sea split in half, split in two, and they were able to walk safely across. Good job, well done. Can you remember the name of the Jewish holy book? The Christian holy book is the Bible. Yeah, that's right, the Christian holy book is the Bible, but what's the name of the Jewish holy book? It's more of a scroll. Hmm, that's right. Can you remember? Well done. It's the Torah. Here it is. It's the Torah. Holy writings for the Jewish people in a scroll, the Torah. So New Year is not just time for a party for the Jewish people, but it's also a holy time. What name do they give to the New Year? What do they call the New Year? Can you remember? That's right, Rosh Hashanah. Did you get that one right? Well done. Rosh Hashanah is the name for the Jewish New Year. Can you remember the names of the first man and the first woman that God created, the first people in the Bible? If you know it, shout out. That's right, Adam and Eve. So Adam and Eve made a mistake was it that they did that they shouldn't have done? What did they get wrong? Can you remember? Hmm. They ate an apple from the tree. That's right. They ate an apple from the tree that God told them not to touch. They were tricked, weren't they, by the, by the snake, by the serpent, and they ate the apple. Well, we all make mistakes sometimes. You do. Hmm. I do too. We all make mistakes sometimes. The Jewish people use the new year, Rosh Hashanah, as a time to look back, that's right, behind us, to the, to the things in the past, and to look forward to the things in the future. And they use it as a time to look about and look and think about the good things and the bad things that they've done in their lives. So what does Rosh Hashanah mean? Hmm. 
okay. Oh, you're trying to tell me something to do with my head. Yes, that's right. Can you remember? That's right. It means head and start of the year. Rosh Hashanah, head and the start of the year. Well done. Hmm. Can you remember, next question, the Jewish New Year greeting? Thing that people say to each other during the time of Rosh Hashanah. Hmm. That is a tricky one, isn't it? Can you remember? Shh, shh. That's right. Shana Tova. Well done if you got that one right. That one was really tricky. Shana Tova. So Shana Tova, what does it mean? Yeah, it means a good year. It means a good year, Shana Tova. So Jewish people hope that the new year will be a sweet and happy new year, a good new year. And they use some foods at this time to help them think about a sweet new year. Remember what foods they eat. Not chocolate, no. Chocolate sweet. It's not chocolate. That's right. A sweet apple. So an apple is sweet. They use something else to make it even sweeter. Can you remember? That's right. Honey, sweet honey. And they dip the apple into the honey to make it, thank you, even sweeter. Now there's a special horn that's blown during the time of Rosh Hashanah, but can you remember what it's called? A bit like a trumpet, yeah, that's right. Not a trumpet though, can you remember what it's called? It's a ram's horn. That's right, it's called a chauffeur. But why is it blown? Why is the chauffeur blown? It's to remind you to wake up and to think of the good things that they will do in the new year. Well done. I'm going to see if I can share with you now a, a little video of somebody blowing the chauffeur so you can hear what it sounds like. Make sure that you can hear it and share the sound as well. Let's see if it works. Here it is. <laughs> So I think if I heard that, that would certainly remind me to wake up. It would wake me up and it would remind me to celebrate the new year. Let's go back to our quiz questions. So the Jewish New Year is a time when people remember to be kind to each other, to be safe, to be healthy, to be happy, to care for each other and to have hope. How did you do with those questions? Did your teddy help you? Thanks for your help. So New Year, January, is named after the Roman god Janus. Janus has two heads, one that looks behind to the past and one that looks ahead to the future. Today, we want you to think about looking behind to the past and looking ahead to the future. To have a think about what is the most important thing in your life? That's a big question, isn't it? 
what's the most important thing in your life? So it might be the teddy that you've just had next to you just now. Something that's really special. You're special. Or it might be a special toy or a special object that you have in your house. Something that's really very important to you. The next thing we want you to think about is who is the most important person or people in your life? That's a big question, isn't it? So it's probably somebody in your family or a really special friend. Then we want you to think back to the past. What was your best achievement last year? That means, what did you do last year that you were really super proud of? So was it something that you did at school and you thought, I really got better at that? So it might be your reading or your maths or something else. Or it might be something that you did outside of school that you're really good at and you're really proud of and that you got better at. So what was your best achievement from last year? And the last question is, what do you want to get better at this year? What would you like to improve on? So if you go to our website, you'll be able to find a worksheet that looks like this. And it's got those four questions on it. Most important thing in your life, most important personal people, something you're really proud of, and something that you want to get better at. So you can draw pictures, four pictures in those boxes. You could write some words too. And when you've done that, you can take a photograph of it or put it onto, onto Dojo and share it on your profile. And we'll really enjoy looking at the things you're thinking about for this new year. Well done, everybody, and see you again soon. Bye-bye.